Hello, welcome to A1 on Psychic Radio. I'm your host for half an hour, and my name is Suzanne Marie. You can reach me for any private readings at psychicpass.com and on Facebook at Psychic Pass. I am a clairvoyant who sees past, present, and future. And um, I'm a light trans medium, so I speak to past loved ones. I hope that uh, we have a really good show tonight. We are watching for the solar eclipse of the moon tomorrow, and it's in Gemini, and it's going on with Mercury in retrograde. And for Geminis, uh, this means that there will be a lot of um, renegotiating contracts and relationships. And it's going to kind of feel like uh, you need to take a moment and figure out what's going on in your relationships and in your personal, interpersonal relationships. Also, a full moon. So uh, very emotional. And um, yeah, but I think being as a Gemini, that we can swing it and we'll be just fine. It's a lot of change. And we live on change as Geminis. And anyone who has a major Gemini in the chart, say um, Ascendant, Moon, Venus, um, Mars, will be feeling these effects too. So be careful still with what you say, how you say it, and how your message gets across. And other communication will be um, will be affected, like mail, emails, telephone calls, letters, anything doing with communication for all of us. So yeah, we need patience, not a Gemini's virtue, but we need patience. And um, we will make it. We will fly by the seat of our pants, and we will be okay. And hopefully, we um, learn a lot about ourselves and about our relationships and about making way for change, making way in our lives. Oh, we have Linda in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Hello. Hi there. Hi, how are you tonight? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm melting, to be quite honest. It is really oh, hot in hot. Minnesota. <laughs> Very hot. Um, what can I help with tonight? What is your question? Um, my question is for my daughter. Uh, they put her father on hospice, and I'd kind of like to know about that. Okay. I'm trying to connect, and um, tell me if this resonates. Uh, it feels like he's been ill with something for for quite a while or this isn't um this isn't sudden what he's dealing with does that resonate no. with her father okay yeah okay um does he have dark hair like uh black but I see a receding hairline, too. Or he could be showing me younger than he is. But um, the person that I see has dark, dark hair. Does that resonate? Dark hair. Okay. I just lost my, um, my first husband, and I just lost my 
my husband, the second husband, be a year uh, this month that I'm worried about her father for her. If I if I get these two gentlemen mixed up, just go ahead and confront me on it or bring that up, okay? Because okay. if they seem close, they seem yeah. really close right. to the That's family. I about every day on who was going to go first. Okay. Um, your daughter, from what Spirit says, is she's not taking it very well. No. Um, she she's been dealing with this for twenty years. So wow. Off and on, and yeah, he got on hospice before, and they said he wasn't going to make it through the night, and. You know, this is 20 years later, and uh, they just started the morphine today, so. She's giving me the impression that even no matter what time has elapsed, she will lose it. Um, it, 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 it really is going to hit her hard. Um, and, and I guess as a mother or as a father and a daughter, Dynamic, I can understand why. I don't think we're ever prepared for our parents or our no. children to leave us. Um, he gave up. He gave up. Um, yeah. From what I'm getting from get him, up. he's done. He's done. He's had enough. He wants to go home, um, you know, to... to uh, he, the spirit home, and he's just had enough. Um, he's showing me his arm. Mm -hmm. and his mm -hmm. arm and I, excuse me? Are there all of your cards yeah. telling that it's going to be soon? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, spirit is telling me within 24, 48 hours. Okay. And um, and that's because that's because he gave up. Um, he yeah. just he he's gave up a long time ago, but um, it seems like this is it. And I don't think that anyone is going to say that he needs to be uh, saved or anything like that. It's it's a go. It is a go. Yeah. Um. He's even been punished in the in the medical situation, punished um, in the fact that that he can feel, he can hear, um, but he's not being treated like he can. It's almost like right. he's already gone the way that things are. People are talking, so um, yeah, that's what I see. Um, I really, I usually don't like to see, see um, passings, but this guy, this guy is saying, "I'm out of here. I have to go. Yeah, this is enough." He's fought for a long time. So, it seems like it. It's it's his body can't take no more. Um, no. from what I'm seeing, it's done, and he's just emotionally. And mentally following what his physical body is saying. Um, right. Even even if he were to survive, yeah, he's not. <laughs> now he's not. Um, I think he's had conversations with people um, early earlier that was like, um, and please don't feel so bad when I'm gone or something or. I hope you right. understand that at this time I have to go. So he's ready. Yeah. He's all set yeah, up. He's, he, told, yeah. he told our daughter that, you know, he was just tired and he was ready. So, uh, yeah, I would say uh, 24, 48 hours. And um, I guess she just needs to be reminded that he's at peace. He's, he'll be more joyful and no more pain and no more suffering. 
is what what was coming. So um, I hope that that helped. Yes, ma'am, it does. Um, I know this may sound a little weird, but he's telling me uh, he's even requested some kind of a song and uh, it's going on in his head as he's laying there. I don't know what yeah. song it is. Maybe your daughter does. Um, is there something else I can help you with? Um, and uh, have I, am I going to be okay with, with the changes that, that I've made? Spirit says you've manned up. <laughs> have you been uh, yeah, like yeah. really good? <laughs> Big time. 90 going north on the, on the else. Um, and they've noticed. Um, yeah, I left Tennessee, packed up everything, and came to Michigan to help my daughter with my first husband. You're going to be doing really well this year. I see. Uh, I see a lot of bright, a bright light around you. Um, Spirit is saying that well, I think I deserve it. You changed. Spirit says that you have changed one habit that's tremendous. You've done you're doing something different and spirit is just giving you accolades. Um there's one thing, one thing that they're like, this is just really amazing. Um And they just keep on telling me it's your health. You've done something with your health. And, um. Well, I quit smoking or working on it. Okay, so that must be what you're sliding. Because I see you sliding something <laughs> yeah, at a table. <laughs> I see you sliding yeah. it. Spirit is with you, and they want you to know that um, if you need extra help at times, that your spirit guides and your angels, all you have to do is ask, and they will help you in those times. Um, they need to be asked um, because the, that's just the rules of spirit. Um, that when you ask, they'll be there. So um, just ask, and they are with you. I'd say 150% behind you. Um, okay, so Spirit says you're not done traveling. Are you traveling um, back? Are you planning on going back? No. I plan on taking a okay. vacation. Okay. Because, yeah, I see you packing again, and it's like, I didn't know. Um, yeah, I'm going to stay next to my daughter and my great-grandbabies and my grandchildren. So. Sounds good. Um, now, I don't know the... The husband, the husband, your husband that passed, um, he comes forward and he said, uh, he showed me, he showed me a fall. Did he have a, a heart attack or something where, uh, where he just couldn't, he couldn't stand anymore? Uh, no, he had a, the second time around he had throat cancer and he collapsed in the bathroom floor, and I was standing behind him and caught him. Okay, because, yeah, he showed me the fall. Um, and you're right, those two gentlemen are getting ready to go ahead and have have the best fun. Um, 
I don't know if they played it in this this realm, but the, your ex husband says that they plan on playing pool. That'll be pool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they really like each other. So, which is really, really rare. Yeah, it seems like um, just really a, a very respectful and trusting relationship. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, hon, I think that does it. Um, congratulations on the non-smoking, or the, at least the attempt now. And um, I hope that I've been of some help to you tonight. I've, I've got uh, four of my friends that tuned in and now they're getting a hold of y'all too. Okay. Well, thank you so much for calling. Thank you. Have a good night. And once again, this is A1R Psychic Radio. I'm Suzanne Marie, and you're listening to Psychic Pass. Hopefully, real soon, we will get another caller. And Margaret from San Antonio. Hello. Hello. How are you tonight? I'm fine, and how are you? Melting, but... You're in Texas. You can, you can, you have it a lot harder. Um, what can I help with tonight? Well, I just wanted to know what can you tell me um, about, I guess, my future uh, with me and my husband. Okay. <clears throat> Hang on a second. Let me see what spirit shows me. Do you have a little child? Do I what? Do you have a child? Do you have a child, a child? together? Uh, uh, yes. I, we lost a child. Okay. Um. I, I sense right away that there's ups and there's downs and there's a lot of bad times between you two. But what Spirit is saying is there's no there's no good guy or bad guy. It's nobody's fault what's happening right now. Um, and the child, the child's energy is still between you two. Um, just because the, the child passed away, it didn't relinquish being you and your husband's child. Um, you know, I'm getting the feeling with that, and I saw him turning away from you, I get the feeling of guilt, or there's something he could have done or should have done or something should have been different. But what Spirit is telling me is that that's not true. That's not a reality that he could have done anything different, you know, for for your child. And um, from what Spirit is saying, he's shutting down and he's turning away. Does that resonate? Like he's distancing himself. Yes. Um, that's a part of his guilt. It's eating at him. Um, did your child pass away? Be I'm getting the number three. Has it been like three years? Um... It was in uh, 2017. I had a ectopic pregnancy. I was about a, a about two months. Okay. Um. 
I don't see a change. I don't see an ending to your marriage. And I don't see a divorce or leaving. I see that you both, you both stick it out. And part of the spirit is saying, um, you both believe in your vows of, of trying to work it out to the bitter end. That kind of a devotion commitment to the marriage. Um, I see a child coming. I don't know if it's adopted or, or biological, but I see a little girl with dark, really dark hair. Um, and I see, I see her coming in in about a year. Um, as frustrating as his distancing is to you because you need also, it's so hard to love somebody when they're distancing and, and, and um, being, being shielded. We need love. We need kisses. You know, we need emotion. Um, but this, this child coming in kind of gives him, kind of gives him hope in life again. Okay. And, um, do you have a dog? Because I just seen a dog. No, we need a child. <laughs> a child coming in. This 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 little this brown dog just comes to us be like, I'm the baby. <laughs> no, no, you're not. <laughs> um, I um I see it more positive. I see that this is learning um with each other. Um, and I see this as a growth for him. He he seemed to have been a very optimistic man uh, before of that pregnancy. And I see that he took a blow, he took a hit with it. You know, kind yeah. of um, became a person like Never. And Never yeah. is a very, very bad word to, to use, but he, he went into that. So I do see hope. I see a child, and uh, bless you both for for really sticking with each other and committing to the relationship. Because it, I think in the long run, it will work out for the both of you. Um, Spirit is saying um, to tell him that you do need emotional support. Uh, you do need your partner. And Spirit says when that happens, though, that you clam up. You clam up when he's looking at you, waiting for a response. No, honey. When he looks at you and he's ready to listen, that's when you're supposed to turn on and go, okay, here's the list. This is the list of what's bothering me. You know, that spirit is saying you, you kind of clam up. Don't clam up, yeah. okay? Okay. He wants to hear it, and it's a part of the we. You know, okay. let him talk and let you talk and, and express yourself. I see it going good. It's it's an up and a down relationship, but I see a lot of joy coming. It's coming. Okay. okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, can you tell me anything about my dad? Um, is he passed? Yes. Was he a golfer? I see him what? out in the green. Did he golf? I see him on the uh, green. No, he was he would do like lawn service and stuff. Okay. 
I'm like, uh, does all that green lawn just mean he's a golfer? <laughs> okay, <laughs> land, landscaping, okay. Um, he's a bit grumpy. He said he's fine. Uh, he's walking. He's walking a little bit. And he just says, I'm fine. And um, something about his name. He's saying something about his name. Um, do you have a rug in the kitchen? Do I have a what? A rug in your kitchen. Mm, no. Um, there's something in the middle of your kitchen, and that's where he stands. And it kind of looks like a rug, but maybe it's tile or something. Um, he's just grumpy right now. And that's not his personal, his personal feelings all the time. I think he's worried about you. Mm -hmm. I think he's feeling for you. And he's a bit grumpy. But, um... Was he grumpy in his in, in life? Because, um... Well, it seems he, like he's, he has, he's rude. He had his moment. His moment uh, he didn't like the idea that I got with my husband when I got with him. Um, we weren't married at the time. And him and my husband had a little disagreement. Okay. Well, talk with your dad and let him know you're okay. He is with okay. you. He's watching. He's supporting you. Um, he just he, He's just grumpy, but he seems like a really sweet guy. Um, just talk with him because he's helping you and listening to you and and I guess uh, he he'll guide you if you listen to him okay, okay. Um, he blew you a kiss so all right well you have a good night you too thank you thank you so much for calling Bye-bye.